Hi everybody, Craig Biscar here from the Model Realcast Show, and I'm here today with Duncan McCree of Tan Valley Depot. Say hi, Duncan. Hello. Hi, Duncan's behind the camera. Uh, we're here today uh, to talk about a new product that uh, Duncan is bringing out. Duncan, of course, is the uh, person who runs Tan Valley Depot, uh, who brings us such great products as frog juicers and uh, octopus and other quad things for servos that we use to uh, animate things and throw turnouts. And uh, Tan Valley Depot is going to be coming out this year with a new product that uh, we're here to preview for you a little bit today. We have a prototype that we're going to show you. What it does is it's a battery-powered system that also runs on radio uh, that works with your DCC system to run your trains. And the nice thing about it is that uh, it no, doesn't use any power from the track at all. Everything is coming from in here. We have, uh, first of all, a small radio receiver right here. Uh, the other end of it is hooked up uh, to the track bus and it's got a small antenna on it back around the corner here and underneath there is in here a lithium polymer battery uh, which we will be using smaller ones when we get around to actually doing this as I said this is just a prototype for testing purposes uh, what you can't see in here also is that there's a standard DCC decoder in here as well uh, it does work in, cons in concert with the DCC system and uh, you'll have basically one transmitter that you hook up which is the one that we have over there for the radio and it'll run multiple locomotives all over your railroad. The beautiful thing about this like I said is that it is DCC compatible and it will run with any DCC system that you have whether that's uh, North Coast or NCE or uh, Digitrax or Lens or uh, pretty much any system that's out there. All DCC systems will work fine with this because just like with uh, any other decoder, it's basically the signal that goes out and so any system will work with pretty much any decoder. This is just taking the information off of the rails and putting it into the air by radio and also running the, the locomotive off of battery power. Now I'm going to start the locomotive up now to give you a show and I'm going to bring the throttle up here so that you can see it and I'm going to go ahead and start having the locomotive move forward and you can see it actually runs quite smoothly since there's no battery power pickup from the track it's running along quite nicely now the amazing thing of course being that it's battery is when I do this and pick it up you can see this locomotive is still running that's pretty amazing and I'm gonna go ahead and back it down now just to show you that I am actually running it and I'm gonna change the direction so you can see and there it goes back and backwards so this locomotive is completely being powered at the moment by that battery and by the radio receiver that's in the tender. And just to show you something else that's kind of cool that, that um, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Let me run it like this on the homicide. Take a look at that, folks. Pretty amazing. Doesn't steer very well. Doesn't steer very well for obvious reasons, but look, it's running along on the home, so with no connection to the track at all. Now, hopefully, this system will be ready probably before the end of the year, may possibly even by summer. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to getting it into your hands. We think it's going to be a game changer because now you'll be able to not have to power any frogs. Imagine your layout without any bus lines, without any feeder wires, without worrying about going across a frog and shorting out the railroad. You could even go ahead and paint the track completely and not have to worry at all about whether or not you're going to be able to pick up power in your locomotive. You'll have to charge batteries in the locomotive just like you do in a, ra in a radio throttle, of course. But uh, the battery, excuse me, the locomotives will run much more smoothly because they have uninterrupted power. Uh, this is really going to be a game changer out there. Folks, keep your eye out, keep watching the uh, website for Tam Valley Depot, and keep listening to Model Railcast because we're going to have more information about this as it comes along. Hope you enjoy it. Please let us know what you think. Thanks.